fuck your favorite sports team. They give no fucks about you or the game they lost the other day that you are still sad about. All they care about is that you buy the tickets for the games and the merch. By all means, enjoy watching professional sports in the stadium or on TV, whatever you like. But don't get emotionally invested because at the end of the day, whether they win or lose, they still get paid and you do not. So fuck it. Fuck your job. Do only what you are paid to do. You are not slave. You are not office bitch. Hard work is bad for you. Hard work only good for making somebody else rich. They say hard work never killed anybody. But remember, what doesn't kill you is putting you under chronic stress medication. Work hard, play hard. Bad idea. Work less, play more. Much better idea. Don't stay at work one minute more than you have to. When the work is finished, switch off the laptop computer, switch off the phone, switch off the brain. Tell your boss to take the after hours emails and shove it up the ass. You have a life, so live it. And remember, all work and no play makes Jack important. Give no fucks. Leave your bag of fucks at home every day. Don't take a heavy bag of fucks with you every day where you are going. And give fucks to everyone and everything. Because then you will go home tired and exhausted from carrying around a heavy bag of fucks. Instead, empty your bag of fucks at home. Leave all your fucks locked up in your fucks cupboard and save them for special occasion. And instead, go out into the world with an empty bag to fill with the good energy. You will be much happier living a fucksless existence. So give no fucks. Hello, my name is Self Help Singh international life coach, motivational speaker and best-selling author of the book Do Nothing. Do nothing. There is no purpose or meaning to find in life. So just exist and do nothing. Stop waking up early. Life is shit. So sleep to as much of it as possible. 5 a.m. club, bad idea. 11 a.m. club, much better idea. So just fucking sleep. Stop doing the things you don't want to do. Make the excuses. Avoid the work commitments, the friend get-togethers, the family gatherings if you so wish. Make the excuse book and fill it with excuses. Keep the excuses ready for the boss, for the wife, for the friends. Say no to the team meetings, to the TikTok. Say no to the exercise, say no to the diet. Eat whatever the fuck you want. Soon you will be dead. So what difference is it making? Stop listening to what people say about you. Stop chasing the perfect summer body. Whether you are fat or thin, haters will hate. And soon your haters will also die. Hopefully in the most horrific manner. Joking, no joking. Or oh, am I joking? Do the least amount of work without getting fired. Nike say, just do it. Self-help sing say, just do nothing. Release yourself of obligation and responsibility and just do nothing. Everything you think you need to do was done before you and will be done after you. So stop doing. You do it best when you do nothing at all. You are not special. You are not unique creation. The world is fucked and you cannot unfuck it. So just do you and do nothing. Stop spending your days searching for the meaning of life, for that is the most futile exercise. You will die one day just as confused as you are now. So be happy with what and who you are. As my good friend Farooq Freddy Mercury once said, nothing really matters. So do nothing. Don't fuck the people at the workplace. It is most terrible idea. As much as you want to do it, don't do it. Control the fire burning between your ties. Office romance is fun, but when it ends, 
and it will end. It will end badly. And then you will be sad because not only will you have to find a new lover, you will have to find a new job because it will be awkward as fuck seeing this person every day. Better not to shit where you eat. Find love elsewhere. That is all. Your boss is not your friend. Your boss is not your family. Your boss only cares that you come to work and that you do the work. When your boss is asking how are you, that is only a formality. They give no fucks about how you actually are. When you are sick and your boss is saying get well soon, what your boss is saying is get well soon so that you can come back and do the work. When your mother dies and you are taking time off to mourn and your boss is saying let me know if there is anything that I can do. What they are actually saying is, let me know what I can do to make you cry faster so that you can come back to work and make the money. Your boss gives no fucks about you. Stop working hard. Hard work is not rewarded. Hard work is only punished. When you are working hard, your boss punishes you by giving you more work. The harder you work, the more chance there is of being your company's bitch. Don't be your company's bitch. Do only what you are paid to do. And don't forget to just fucking chill. Fuck your team's meeting. And fuck teams. Your bullshit team's meeting could have been an email. But instead, there you are, pretending to be interested. While Michael from marketing takes a mighty shit with his microphone unmuted. How the fuck do people still not know how to mute and unmute a microphone after all this fucking time? Fuck me. Say no to teams meetings organized by lonely motherfuckers with nobody to talk to. And instead, fake a connectivity issue and do something joyful with your day. Fuck teams. That is all. Fuck crypto. You don't need the anxiety. Before you bought the bullshit fantasy coin, your life was good. But then you made some money and became greedy. Now the bullshit coin is fucked. And nobody can tell you when it is going to be unfucked. Even the motherfucker who convinced you to buy the bullshit coin, who told you that it is going to be the next big thing, that motherfucker is nowhere to be found. You are on your own. And all you can do is cry about it in the shower and hope and believe that your bullshit coin will go up in price again so that you can sell it and make some money and buy some more and then get fucked all over again. That is crypto. Fuck your work deadline. If you make it, you make it. If you don't make it, you don't make it. Fuck it. It is not life, it is only work. In the greater scheme of things, your work deadline is absolutely meaningless. Don't sacrifice the joy in your life chasing the meaningless work deadlines. Especially don't work on the weekends and sacrifice your well-being and your mental health while your boss gets to have the fun. Fuck your deadline. They call it a deadline. But nobody actually fucking dies if you miss one. So just fucking chill.